The Photographer's Gallery opened in 1971. The idea for the gallery really came about in the late 60s though. At the time, Sue Davies was working at the ICA in London and she was involved with some very key photography exhibitions that happened at that time. But it took till 1971 to actually, actually open the gallery on Great Newport Street. My role in this uh, particular project is uh, as, as, a, as a, an outside external curator and um, I was asked to come up with a proposal. It was quite a challenge. Uh, how do you um, encapsulate the history, if you like, of this very, very complex and important institution? My approach was to look through an exhibition um, history which uh, contained information and patterns that were very useful for me. It was decided to do uh, four exhibitions. They each has a theme, reportage, advertising and fashion. Uh, they transition from photography to photographies and also the archive. And with this theme allows me to explore two aspects of the Photographer's Gallery over the years as it developed. One is the uh, singular identity of the gallery as a promoter of photography as an art. And the other aspect of it is that it belonged to a larger network. So the opening exhibition at the gallery in 1971 um, was a collaboration with the Concern Photographer Fund, which was a precursor to the International Centre of Photography in um, New York. And it was called the Concern Photographer, and it was a kind of uh, best of humanist concern photography at the time, coming predominantly from America. In tandem with Sue Davies' relationship with the ICA that she brought with her to the Photographer's Gallery, she had very good contacts in Fleet Street at the time. And so her relationship with the press was very key in that first decade of the gallery's existence in terms of informing the programme. And so this first display really tries to tease out some of the themes in that, that relationship between the gallery and photojournalism through the 70s and into the early 80s. So this ranged from group exhibitions which look more generally at press photography as a genre and to try and actually take quite a sort of visual cultural approach to uh, examining this type of photography and how it functions in society to more focused on individual practitioners um, who were more committed to particular projects like Janine Weidel and Colin Jones who were really taking a long-term view on their subject matter. The second exhibition is uh, Fashion and, and Advertising Photography which we've subtitled uh, Anti-Elitist Art Photography. The reason for that title is that uh, Fashion and editorial photography had always been somewhat denigrated as um, applied photography. What we've tried to do is show the variety of, of, of this kind of photography. It did start in the 1970s with uh, David Bailey had a, a retrospective in the 70s, 1974. Uh, Helmut Newton had an exhibition. His wife, June Newton, had an exhibition. There's a whole load of things like this that were happening in the 70s. In the 80s, which is a different period, Something happened to fashion, it entered, it came from the side lines into the centre, it entered the history of photography and um, that changed public attitudes towards it and it changed and it strengthened Sue Davis's hand as a supporter uh, uh, of this kind of material. So one of the main aims of this was to um, try and give some sense of what the special identity of this gallery is. And it's a complicated question because it involves not only its relationship with other organisations, but the fact that it's in Britain, not like Los Angeles or New York. And I also wanted to try and um, give a sense of the contribution of this gallery. Um, everyone now knows that photography is an art and, you know, it's all, oh yeah. But <laughs> there was a point where it wasn't so simple. And, and I think maybe it's been forgotten just exactly what it involved to, to turn attitudes around. That's the key question for me. What was the job of this gallery? Given that nobody else was really driving this agenda, what was it doing and what was happening in this place?